ears and hearing problems. For an earache, wrap some garlic in some gauze and place it in the outer ear canal. Hearing can be improved up to 90% you can use this method to help bring back hearing. Press the tip of the third, or ring finger, for about 5 minutes, several times a day. Press the finger on the left hand for the left ear, and right hand for the right ear. Pressure on the joints of this finger may also help. This is said to help improve up to 90% of hearing loss in cases of deafness due to thickening of the ear membrane, ear noises, and ringing in the ears, but everyone can obtain some benefit. Some foods and a low cholesterol and low carbohydrate count may ease your hearing problems, says Dr. J.T. Spencer Jr. of Charleston, West Virginia. Sudden deafness requires immediate medical attention, due to its many possible causes such as certain types of infection, a blood clot, poor circulation or other causes. Hardening of the arteries can lead to an insufficient supply of blood to the inner ear, causing sudden deafness, says Dr. O. Eric Hallberg in the Journal of American Medical Association, November 30, 1957. The continuing use of nicotinic acid, a B vitamin, in high dosages seems to be most beneficial both for its artery widening effect and for its apparent tendency to reduce the blood cholesterol level. Foods that contain the B vitamins include Brewer's yeast liver wheat germ. A low-fat diet includes eggs, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, gravy, lean meats, no butter, processed cheeses, starches. While deafness caused from an insufficient blood supply is fairly consistent, with ringing in the ears and dizziness, other types of deafness may come and go. It is not likely to affect both ears at the same time. Using lots of soybean lecithin every day can help to reduce or stop the ringing in the ears and clear hearing. Using garlic oil by puncturing a garlic oil capsule and pouring it into the ear and stopping it with a little cotton can help to relieve earaches. Some people have had good results in helping to clear up bad hearing and ringing in the ears by using a drop of onion juice in the ears about every week to 10 days to help maintain good results. Chewing gum that contains a natural sweetener called xylitol has been found to help prevent tooth decay and ear infection. Xylitol prevents bacteria form attaching itself to the back of your mouth, where it can later enter your ear and set off an infection. Note, too much noise can cause hearing loss, but vitamin A can protect your hearing. Eating disorders. For eating disorders don't diet, instead, cut caffeine, divide single meals into several smaller ones, record everything you eat, schedule your meals and snacks, eat a nutritious, sugar-free diet, include complex carbohydrates with each meal, and take a zinc supplement to zap eating disorders. Weight control. Eat the following. Artichokes, avocados, beans, blackberries, celery, chicken, chives, cucumbers, fennel, figs, garlic, ginger, green beans, milk, nuts, peanut butter, radishes, rosemary, shellfish, tea, wheat berries, yogurt. Exercise without exercise, even the best weight loss plan won't give you the results you're hoping for. Exercise helps you lose weight faster and keeps it off longer. Eyes. The use of alcohol and tobacco is very bad for your eyesight. Garlic contains the thiamine-boosting ingredient which increases the body's absorption of B1, thiamine, tenfold. Garlic has a curative effect on eye catarrh and inflammation of the lacrimal tear duct. The common herb comfrey used as a poultice or tea drinks, seems to possess extraordinary healing powers. Doctors have used its medicinal extract, Alantoine, in cases of stubborn ulcers, burns, and open wounds, with spectacular results, even burns to the eyes. Many cases of near blindness have been helped by nerve massage. For eye weakness, massage the pads of the base of the second and third fingers on both hands, left hand for left eye, and right hand for right eye. Pressure on the ends of these fingers can relieve eye strain in a few minutes. To stop watering eyes, massage the webs between these fingers. Cataracts. Consume the following. Kiwifruit onion spinach tea. Cataracts are a loss of transparency of the crystalline lens of the eye. In the most common form, vision becomes blurry, like a frosted glass window, and there is profuse tearing and irritation. It has several forms, but in general, the lens is hardened and is a deep brown, green, gray or milky. In some cases, it only affects part of the eye. Using 15 mg of B2, tablet form, daily and nothing else, cures almost 100% of the reported cases for cataracts. These results were reported by Dr. Seidenstricker of the University of Georgia. 
Foods containing vitamin B2. Beans beets broccoli brewers yeast calf liver chicken nuts peanuts raw collard salmon turnip tops wheat germ. The lack of vitamin C and calcium are often associated with cataracts. Others advise the use of vitamins A, D, E, desiccated liver, sunflower seed meal, Organex, and protein, in addition to vitamin C and B2 for cataracts. This combination also helped with mental and physical health. In Eye, Ear, Nose and Throat Monthly, Volume 31, a doctor says that his method of preventing or correcting cataracts is to give his patients a special diet which includes the tops of vegetables with a pint of milk and two eggs daily, with vitamins C and A and chlorophyll tablets. Foods rich in calcium all contain roughly 200 mg. Per serving, include common beans beet greens dandelion greens mustard greens parsley turnip greens watercress corneal ulcers corneal ulcers are relieved by using 1500 milligrams of vitamin c according to the british medical journal november 18 1950. glaucoma it is extremely important not to attempt to treat glaucoma yourself by dietary measures without your doctor's approval this disease has several forms and needs to be treated precisely Glaucoma patients who self-treat run the risk of blindness. Glaucoma can literally wipe out your vision overnight. To help reduce the pressure of the eye that causes glaucoma symptoms, one woman used 2,000 to 3,000 mg of vitamin C with rose hips plus 150 mg of rutin twice a day for three months. The pressure in her eyes returned to normal. Others report the same results. Eating three carrots a day boiled in about a quart of water. Drink all of the water and use no seasoning. Take three tablespoons of raw liquid lecithin daily. It cleans out the bloodstream and can help to greatly improve eyesight. Cut out coffee and take vitamins A, B, C, E, and bone meal. Vitamin C lowers eye pressure. Macular degeneration. A low-fat diet helps control macular degeneration, which deprives the individual of the ability to see straight ahead. In most cases, it's due to a blockage or leak in the tiny blood vessels which interlace the macula, a round light-sensitive spot at the center of the retina. Night blindness. Eat spinach. Seeing spots. Floaters can be relieved with B vitamins. If you should ever experience dark, black spots, you should have it checked out, it could be something serious. Vision. Foods that help near and far-sightedness. Vitamin A is essential to good vision. A mild deficiency makes it difficult to see at night. A more severe form results in headaches from bright light. Burning, itching and gritty sensation under the eyelids may develop. In advanced stages, pus and ulcers may form and you may see dark spots called scotomata. To remedy this, eat foods that are rich in vitamin A, like beet greens dandelion leaves charred cooked other foods good for vision include Bell peppers berries broccoli cabbage cantaloupe carrots corn eggs garlic grapes greens mustard greens turnip greens kale kiwifruit mangoes nectarines onions papaya parsley peaches plums pumpkin spinach squash sunflower seeds tea watercress Sunflower seeds have been found to relieve farsightness eye strain aches and pain and extreme light sensitivity they contain 50 units of vitamin A per 100 grams and are also rich in B complex vitamins iron and calcium Take 3 teaspoons of sunflower seed kernels daily. Puffy eyes. For puffy allergy eyes, place a cucumber slice on each eye for a couple of minutes. The cucumber slices cause blood vessels to constrict, which could help to reduce the puffiness. Vision development in infants. Feed your baby fish and flax seeds. Gallstones. Eat oranges. Gout. Consume the following. Berries cherries, drink a glass of cherry juice every day, fish, cod, halibut, salmon, and sardines, they reduce inflammation, flax seeds, add to juices, salads, or fruit plates, or use the oil as a salad dressing, nuts, raw fruits and vegetables, seeds, soy products, whole grains. Drink a glass of water every two waking hours. This should be your minimum consumption. Rich foods aggravate gout pain. You must not drink alcohol in any form. Foods to avoid in your diet should include 
Anchovies Asparagus Brewers Yeast Broths Bouillon Consomme Dried Beans Eggs Fish Gravies Herring Lentils Meats Mushrooms Peas Poultry Red Meat Sardines Shellfish Spinach and Rhubarb Cooked Sweetbreads To reduce the risk of heart attack Eat the following Brown rice and other whole grains Soybean lecithin every day will help to cleans out fat encrusted veins and arteries A regular heartbeat Eat the following Fish watermelon Heartburn Eat curry powder Heart disease Include the following in your regular diet Apples artichokes asparagus avocados bananas barley beans beef beets bell peppers blackberries blueberries broccoli brown rice brussels sprouts cabbage canola oil cauliflower cereal oat bran oatmeal whole wheat cherries chicken chilies chives chocolate cinnamon cranberries cucumbers eggs figs fish flax seeds garlic grapes green beans greens horseradish kale kiwi fruit lentils lettuce mangoes margarine nuts olive oil olives onions oranges papaya parsley pasta peaches peanut butter pears pine Apple, pomegranates, pork prunes, pumpkin, quinoa, raisins, raspberries, rosemary seeds, pumpkin, sesame, sunflower, shellfish, soy squash, strawberries, sweet potatoes, tea, tomatoes, turkey, vegetable oils, watermelon, wheat berries, wheat germ, whole wheat bread, wine. Hemorrhoids. It is estimated that 50 to 75 percent of Americans will suffer from hemorrhoids at least once. Nearly one third of the population has an ongoing problem with this often painful condition. To remedy the problem, eat in a relaxed atmosphere, breathing and chewing food thoroughly. Eat smaller, more frequent meals and avoid overeating at one sitting. You should eat 5 to 9 servings of fruit and vegetables every day. You should drink 8 or more glasses of water every day. Eat or increase polyunsaturated fats and eat a high-fiber diet which includes Alfalfa sprouts almonds apricots unpeeled apples beans berries cayenne cold water fish dark berries dried beans figs flax meal 1 heaping teaspoon in 8 ounces of apple juice followed with an additional 8 ounces of water ginger root green leafy vegetables nuts kale kefir kelp oats straw peas prunes raw fruits and raw root vegetables jicama turnip roots radishes and carrots sauerkraut seeds, dried pumpkin and sunflower seed, stewed or soaked prunes. One to three times a day. Unsweetened live yogurt wheat berries wheat germ whole grains whole grain bread. Eliminate refined foods such as alcohol caffeine dairy products spicy foods sugars. Decrease your intake of animal products and saturated fats. You need the following vitamins. Vitamin C, 1000 mg 2 to 3 times per day, Vitamin E, 400 to 800 IU per day, Vitamin K will stop or prevent bleeding. Do not use laxatives and get regular exercise. For temporary relief of pain and itching, use any of the following as a topical lotion. Calendula gel cocoa butter olive oil zinc oxide. Hypoglycemia. Eat eggs. Hypothyroidism, underactive thyroid. Natural thyroid hormone is more effective than the synthetic type, but it is more difficult to obtain. Under proper circumstances, vitamins A, C, B complex, B12, E, coenzyme Q10, magnesium, manganese, zinc, selenium, iodine, amino acid tyrosine, DHEA, and melatonin may be beneficial. Aerobic exercise may help to correct a low thyroid condition. It is never advisable to drink tap water. Most tap water is full of fluorine and chlorine, two chemicals that inhibit your ability to absorb iodine. Ensure that you eat plenty of coconut oil, flax seeds, fish, sea salt, sea vegetables, dulse, kelp, kombu, nori, and wakame, walnuts. Avoid the following foods unless they are cooked. Cooking the vegetables inactivates the goitrogens found in the following foods, so that they are safe to eat for someone with low thyroid. Broccoli Brussels Sprouts Cabbage Cauliflower Kale Soy Kidneys and Kidney Stones Many people with kidney stones suffer from dehydration. While you have the kidney stone, drink two and a half to three quarts of water every day. Once the stone has passed, resume a normal daily dose of one glass every two waking hours. Hydration is the single most important tactic in the treatment and prevention of kidney stones. If you must eat animal products, stick to lean, high-quality sources of white meat. A magnesium deficiency has been linked to recurring kidney stones. Ensure you eat plenty of 
Almonds, apples, bananas, beans, celery, fish, fresh, raw vegetables, green leafy vegetables, kelp, kidney beans, lemon juice, mixed with a little hot water, nuts, oat and wheat bran, daily, orange juice, parsley, pumpkin seed, 1 quarter cup daily, seeds, soybeans, watermelon, whole grains, eliminate foods that contain high amounts of oxalic acid from your diet. By far, the worst offenders are Alcohol almonds blueberries blackberries beets caffeine celery concord grapes cocoa collards dairy products milk cheese ice cream eggplant grapefruit studies show that grapefruit increases the risk of kidney stones parsley peanuts red meat rhubarb refined sugar soft drinks that contain phosphoric acid salt reduce the intake spinach strawberries summer squash sweet potatoes tomatoes please note i am not a doctor i have compiled information to share with you any action you take based on the information provided to you in this publication is done at your own risk. I do not take any responsibility for your actions. Before you take any action, consult your doctor. Thank you for watching feel free to leave a comment down below and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.